and state. If you'll let him and counsel, if you'll stay so he can see the state's well. Sure. There's another other case, Mr. Estrada. I, I'm he really, really doesn't like me, which is why I didn't the discovery told me to stop. I'm just telling you because I, I don't want to surprise you. I'm going to file motions to withdraw to protect myself. Oh, I understand. Uh, okay. Uh, where is he? If you can come forward, sir. I see a ton of cases where these guys are really, really, really difficult for their lawyers. Usually lawyers that are paid for by you, the taxpayer. I don't say me, the taxpayer, because obviously I'm not a taxpayer in the United States. But we have these same guys here in Ireland, too. This next guy seems to be a really, really difficult client for his publicly funded lawyer, but the judge is not giving him any ground. You kind of try to pull this stuff in front of Judge Boyd, she's going to put you down really, really quickly. And you can see he kind of starts to scramble a little bit as this whole thing is going on when he realizes that he's really not getting anywhere with this whole thing. Judge, Mr. Estrada was kind enough to let me know that Somehow they said he was exposed to COVID, so I got him a mask. That's why he's wearing a mask. I don't know if it's true or not, but um, anyway, that, that's why. All right, so we were scheduled for jury trial. Where are we? Judge, you made an offer. I've thoroughly discussed the offer with Mr. Estrada. I've explained the consequences of not taking the offer and that the court will not take any agreement. It will just be an open plea in court. I passed on the offer, and I'll be real blunt. I've given him ojos that if he gets a lot higher, it's on him, not me, and I'm not going to feel guilty. He said that he, he wants a trial, so um, I'm passing it on to the court to get it. All right, Ms. Ferguson, I need a jury trial date for this as criminal trial division. I need it as early as possible. I think it's fair to say that you're probably not going to do great when your own lawyer starts off by saying, look, I'm not really sure that I believe what this guy is saying, and, you know, basically I don't care what happens from here on in. All right, you're coming back for jury trial on February 6th. Your plea deadline date has expired. The court will not accept any plea bargain agreements in this case without good cause. Otherwise, you'll need to uh, plea open to the court. You'll be brought over dressed for trial in whatever civilian clothing you have at the jail. If you wish to be attired in something different, you'll need to speak to your attorney and do a clothing exchange. If there's an issue with the clothing exchange, let the court know. Judge, I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me come in today rather than Tuesday. And I'm still going to bet with you on the fact that they're going to cancel court. That you think they're going to cancel the court on that date? It's not that I would, but I've just, you notice certain things like the sun rising in the east and sitting in the west. <laughs> and after a while, you notice patterns. Oh, okay. may, I, may, I, may I say something, Mo? Sure. Um, I just want to see if I'll be able to dismiss or counsel. I've been incarcerated going on three years and I still to see yet the discovery pack on um, any uh, racing. Oh, you want to see the evidence? State. Can we put him in the box? Counsel, can you let him see the evidence? And if you want another attorney for your jury trial, they need to be ready for trial on February 6th. You understand? No. And judge, just be clear, I don't care one way or another, mm -hmm. but if you are going to put someone else on the case, please let me know so I won't. Oh, no, he's, he's going to have a, if he wants another attorney, you'll have to hire that attorney. What and that attorney trial? needs to be excused. That, that attorney needs to be ready for jury trial on February 6th. I absolutely love this attitude. You've been given an attorney at taxpayer's expense. This attorney will go on here in a minute to explain how this guy's been abusive towards him and basically threatened him and how he wants to be taken off this case anyway. And I just love how the judge is like, yeah, sure, you want another attorney? No problem, but you'll be paying for it your damn self and they better be ready on time. I love that because every minute that people like this waste is more taxpayers' money being wasted. Not to mention the huge backlog in courts right now. And it's because in no small part to people like this holding up court time and state if you'll let him and counsel if you'll stay so he can see the state's well sure there's another other case mr strata I, i'm he really really doesn't like me which is why i didn't know the discovery told me to stop mm -hmm. I, i'm just telling you because i i don't want to surprise you. i'm going to file motions to withdraw to protect myself oh i understand uh, okay uh where is he if you can come forward sir <laughs> All right, so I want to let you know something. You came before the court and you said that you had not seen the state's file. I'm being told that you no longer want to see the state's file. So let me just tell you what's going to end up happening. You're going to go to trial whether you've seen the evidence or not. That's completely up to you. The court gave you the opportunity to sit in court and look at the state's file. You're choosing not to. So you're going to come back for trial on that day. Do you understand? It's not that I don't want to see it, Your Honor. It's just. 
I've been incarcerated going on three years and I just feel like I'm being rushed into something that. Oh no, you said you've been incarcerated for three years. Yes, so how are you being rushed? Exactly. You're going to jury trial on February 6th. I, I'm barely hearing anything about it just within these past couple months, man. He was no. in another county, Judge. I've in been in another county. So uh, this whole time I've been incarcerated, I haven't heard anything out of Bear So county. let me ask you this. I want you to internalize what I'm saying. You were in custody in another county for what reason? For ag robbery, allegedly. So there you go. So this case is going to trial on February 6th. If you would like, I've given you the opportunity to sit in the box and read what the state has. What the state has in their file is what they have. The only- I understand the, that, Your Honor. Here's the thing. The only thing about it, what's in the state's file are the name, names and police reports. Those people are not going to come in and let you talk to them right now because no, that's I, not I what it is. I understand what you're but saying. you can look at the file. So you're coming back for jury trial on February 6th. That's fine. Yes, no. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Nice try, laddie. Good job. You uh, achieved approximately nothing. In fact, you kind of made it worse for yourself. Some of the things that the lawyer said, which I'll pop up on the screen right now. And state, if you'll let him and counsel, if you'll stay so he can see the state's file. Sure. There's another other case, Mr. Estrada. I, I'm, he really, really doesn't like me, which is why I didn't the discovery told me to stop. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you because I, I don't want to surprise you. I'm going to file motions in the draw to protect myself. Oh, I understand. Uh, okay. Uh, where is he? If you can come forward, sir. Would indicate to me that maybe you're not the easiest person to work with. So I'm not surprised that the judge is not giving you any extra leeway on this. You wanted to be treated fairly and just like everybody else. Well, guess what? That's exactly what's happening. Anyway, folks, in other news, I am actually going to be visiting London in a few weeks time. So it'll be the first week of February. I'll be over in London. So if anybody would like to come along and meet up, we're probably going to arrange to go uh, maybe for a meal or a few drinks and do a live stream or something like that. Uh, so if you are so inclined and if you're in the area or I'd like to come on down, uh, you can drop a message uh, either on my Discord or by email or on Instagram. And I'm going to try to see what dates work for people. So it's kind of block out the first week of February, basically. And uh, let me know if you'd like to come on down. It'd be fantastic to catch up with people. I know a few people are keen to, uh, to come along and say hello. Myself and Chloe will be there and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So definitely let me know if you'd like to join us. It would be fantastic to have some of you come along and say hello. And with that, folks, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and sláinte.